met her, I actually didn't know, but I saw like a little pot on her arm and then I asked her and then she just told me and I was like shocked. All of the calendars are so pretty. Yeah, I made So type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease where your T cells attack your pancreas until it can no longer produce insulin. Um, so I've always been like a really happy, energetic, athletic kid. I didn't really like start feeling different until like third or fourth grade because until I was like eight or nine, my parents were managing everything for me. I went to the nurse before lunch and she checked my blood sugar and she gave me my insulin. But once I got older and I had to start dealing with it myself a little more, it became more evident that I was different than other kids and I think that was just a really hard time for me. Um, in transitions especially, like going from elementary to middle school and middle school to high school, um, you really like, you're not trying to stick out like a sore thumb and it's really difficult when you have a machine attached to you and everyone wants to know what it is and you have to check your blood sugar and everyone wants to know what it is. And it's not that I've had a bad childhood because of it, it's I've had a non-traditional one. My friends have always been there to support me. I have friends that I've known since I was diagnosed who can tell me when my blood sugar is low before I can even tell. Um, it's just really great to have a support system to know that there are always people there for you. Because um, it is a difficult thing to have to deal with, so it's always good to have someone there for you. Some stereotypes that people think of when they hear diabetes is that they eat very unhealthy and it's like always like chips and cookies and desserts and stuff and it's not always like that sometimes it is the most healthy people that end up with this um, it all has to do with sugar like accounting for and I feel that some people do think like as soon as they hear someone that oh they have type 1 diabetes like people immediately think like wow, like their diet must be like cookies and chips all day. Like that's not what it's for. And I really think that this can help people that are, people that become more educated about type one can really benefit and know that it's not just about like what you're eating that's causing. So tech is something that is incredibly important to me. It's, I've been doing it since I came into high school. And for me, it's just a great way to express myself and I feel like sports do the same thing for me. But my the people in tech have always been there for me. They've always been my shoulder to cry on whenever things whenever anything's happening. So I feel like tech just really helps me manage my diabetes life. When I met her, I actually didn't know, but I saw like a little pot on her arm and then I asked her and then she just told me and I was like shocked because she never really showed it. Um, I know Kimmy because we met in our TV production club and we had to work together on some things and she was also in my study hall so I she's very dedicated like when I first met her like she was in cheerleading and I thought wow she's not gonna stay she's gonna last two weeks and then she really surprised me like she learned the inside and out of like the entire program she knows how to work camera she knows how to do talent sound lighting she basically learned it, and she learns things fast. So that, like, she came into our TV club, and I was like, oh, I've never seen her before. And like, the next week, she showed up in my study hall, and she showed up in my math class. Like, she switched into both of those classes. And it's funny, because like, I went from seeing like, I haven't seen her anywhere, to like, her like, becoming such a big part of my life. And I find that funny. Because, like, you wouldn't expect it. And especially, like, we're, we have different personalities. So, like, you wouldn't see someone, like, so bubbly and then someone, like, more reserved being friends. But, like, we became friends fast. Like, it even surprised me. Like, I was like, I didn't expect us to become friends. Knowing Kimmy's personality, she's very outgoing, she's very bubbly, so I wouldn't say that it is. Like, when I met her, like, I didn't even know she had it, so I don't think it restricts her from being able to do things that, like, normal people do. I always know that she'll answer when I call, so if I ever need someone to talk to, she'll talk to me about anything, pretty much. Uh, we went on a photography shoot with 
uh, her neighbor who's a photographer and she was really low so she almost passed out and that was pretty scary because I didn't really I'd never really experienced that with her before so it was pretty scary for me I haven't had any like experiences where like it shocked me like with her medical issue but sometimes like I wonder like oh what if this happens like I don't know how to like help her in the sense that like I don't know like to give her sugar pills or like to call someone call her mom so sometimes I worry like something like that's gonna happen but still I mean I'm always there for her so when I was 12 years old I went on vacation I went to Mississippi and for some reason my body was not ready to fight and I somehow managed up to swallow a parasite which set, shut down my entire digestive tract. It, um, I couldn't eat anything. I was in the hospital for two months. I had feeding tubes, pick lines, which are IVs into your heart. I had been losing like three pounds a day because I couldn't eat anything and the parasite was eating basically my insides. And it was all because my blood sugar was low when I swallowed it and my body couldn't fight it off. And it was just a really scary thing to think of, like, like man, if I would have just eaten something before I went to the beach that day, I wouldn't have had to go through all that. Um, and it's just kind of a scary thing. Also, it's it's kind of hard to know, like, what you do to your family, because although they tell you, like, it's okay, like, it's okay, we don't care, you know, you're, like, I know I'm expensive now. Like, when I was in the hospital that time, it was over a million dollars worth of hospital bills because I was there for so long and certain things insurance just won't cover. Um, and you know what you do to your family. You see it, like you see how tired your parents are after being up all night with your blood sugars. And I see my little sister not getting the attention she needs. She's 12 when I'm in the hospital. And I see my older sister already worrying about me. And it's just kind of a difficult thing to, <laughs> to deal with. I feel like just knowing how much it affects other people around you is kind of like scary. Um, I like anything science, so right now my favorite class is anatomy um, because I want to go and I want to be a pediatric emergency doctor when I grow up. Why? I think it's more of like a give back kind of thing. Like when I was younger, I was sick a lot more than I am like right now. Um, I've been in the hospital for months at a time because it is such a difficult thing to manage. But um, I don't know, I've always liked how interesting it is whenever I'm in the hospital, <laughs> that sounds so bad. Whenever I'm in the hospital, I always see how like the like, nurses and doctors work together and I just really wanna be able to do what doctors have done for me my entire life. I try not to let my diabetes interfere with my schoolwork because it is so important to me to get good grades, but sometimes you can't help it. Like if your pump stops working and your blood sugar goes high, I'm in the hospital. Like, I, it's kind of hard to to put anything before my health because it's so easily tipped. Um, so if I had one message to anyone with type 1 diabetes, it would be that you are not your illness um, and that becoming your illness is probably one of the worst things you can do for yourself and those around you because you don't want to be known as the person with type 1 diabetes. You want to be known as the person who plays soccer and plays football and is in tech and runs a club. And you want to be known as someone who does things. You don't want to be known as the sick kid. Um, yeah, so just do what you want. Um, that's about it. Live your life. My name is Kimberly Scanlon, and I have type 1 diabetes.